Hey guys, uh, I'm excited to talk about our uh, Ask Your Coaches topic for today. Today we're gonna be talking about how to PR my favorite benchmark workout, which is Grace. And Grace is a short benchmark workout. Most people are doing it under five minutes or less. And all it is is 30 clean and jerks for time. The men's RX weight is 135 pounds and the women's RX weight is 95 pounds. So the biggest mistake I see with Grace and people trying to improve at Grace is they put too much emphasis on hanging onto the bar and going unbroken rather than putting enough emphasis on the time it takes for each rep. And today we're gonna to break that down, show you what I mean by that, and, and we're gonna really focus our attention on what's most important, which is that time it takes to complete each rep. So when we talk about that biggest mistake is a lot of um, our athletes are, are worried about getting big sets right off the bat. And typically they hang onto the bar, we'll show you guys a video of what I mean, and it takes them a while to do each and every rep. It may take uh, six, seven, eight seconds to do each rep because they're hanging on the bar, um, especially when they get from the clean to that jerk position, they're taking a break in that front rack position. And not only are they wasting a lot of time, but it's a lot of energy, a lot of time under tension. And in order to really excel at Grace, even though it's only 30 clean and jerks, we need to keep ourselves fresh for reps 20 to 30, which is really where our time is made up in this workout. So what I want you guys to focus on is whenever that bar is in your hands, your number one goal is to get it out of your hands as quickly as possible, okay? So as soon as that bar hits you on the, sho on the shoulders after the clean, you're going right up into that jerk and when you come down you're either going to be dropping from the top and doing singles which I recommend for most people or you're going to let that bar drop pretty much straight to the ground maybe skim the thighs on the way down and go right into that next rep if you're really going for one of those low times um, and trying to string together those reps very quickly okay so what we're going to t focus a lot on today is the benefit of doing singles, okay? The reason we love singles is a couple reasons. One, essentially we're taking off half the lift, okay? We're taking off that eccentric portion, that lowering of the bar to the ground. So that's going to keep us fresh in those, those later reps for grace. Also, it's going to allow us to, to start and maintain a consistent pace. Um, that we may not otherwise be able to do when we try to string reps together. A lot of times what we see with our athletes is, yeah, they might look great stringing together anywhere from five to 10 reps to, to start off grace, but usually they drop that bar, they'll step away, and they'll take a 10, 15, 20 second break. They don't realize that it's that long, but in that workout, that's an eternity. And when we do singles, it may seem a little slower at first, but because we're on that consistent pace and we're able to manage our breathing and just get right back on the bar, we're not taking those big, long 15, 20, 25 second breaks that eat up so much time. We might be consistently taking three to five seconds, but that three to five seconds still enables, enables us to get a really good time in the end. Um, so let's break this down for, for some of our individual athletes and see what kind of approach they should have, okay? So I put some, some goal times here and, and see where you fall. If you know your previous time, I think it's realistic to think that you can cut off about 30 seconds from that previous time, especially if you're in the higher time. So try to pick one of these levels that's about 30 seconds better than your best time, all right? So if your best time is four minutes or above, you really want to shoot for that 3.30 time, right? And all that is, is right from the very first rep, you're going to do singles, you're going to drop the bar, and you're going to take two deep breaths. You're going to go one, two, and then back onto the bar, all right? And you're going to do that the whole way through for 30 reps, just that consistent single drop from the top, two breaths through. That's about seven seconds per rep, and you can even time that while you're warming up to see if you're right around that seven second mark. If you want to go a little bit faster, just cut it down to one breath. It's the exact same pace, but now in between each rep, you just do one deep breath, reset on the bar, and go. All right? Now, if we want to really optimize that time, we're just going to do singles as fast as possible. This doesn't mean we're not going to breathe. It just means that we're not going to actively focus on that one deep breath. Basically, as soon as that bar hits the ground, we're going to try to reset and go back into that next rep. And we can get a very, very fast time. I mean, 2.30 is an incredible time on grace going from singles from the beginning. So what I would say is if, if you're not already breaking 2.30 at an RX weight, 
don't even bother stringing together reps beyond maybe that very first set of five or something like that. Go straight to singles from the start and just try to stick with that five seconds per rep pace. And before you know it, the 30 reps will be over if you can stick with that pace. Now to break the two minute mark, this is where we got to hang on to the bar, all right? This is where we got to do a little bit more than just those fast singles, all right? We want to probably start with not a huge set because we don't want to just burn ourselves out right off the bat, but something that we can consistently um, hang on to. And I like the descending reps because mentally that helps us get through it a little bit easier, all right? So I would start with a set of six, a set of five, a set of four, a set of three and then immediately go into fast singles to finish up um, the second half of that workout. Now it's really important when you see these breaks, that's a really short break. You're gonna do your set of six unbroken, you're gonna drop it and then maybe one or two deep breaths and back on it. So it's not a huge break, it's not that 20 second break that, uh, that a lot of us wanna do in that moment. All right, now this is, this is a strategy I've been using for myself lately. This is a really good workout for me. So I love this one. It's it's unbroken reps of eight, seven, six, five, and four with short rests in between. It's exactly 30 reps. You get to decrease the, the reps each and every set. And this one, um, using this format, I've been able to get right in that 140 range uh, the last two times I've done it. And then last but not least, this is for our, our best of the best elite athletes. Um, and this is even above and beyond that. This is Dan Bailey, um, CrossFit Games competitor. He did it unbroken in 102. That video is on YouTube, you can check it out. Um, but that's only about two seconds per rep. So that's, that's not only going unbroken, but that's going super fast with your cycle time. All right, so what I would say, give yourself a chance to go about 30 seconds below that last time and choose one of these levels and stick with it from the start. Don't, don't doubt yourself, just commit to that right from the beginning and, and see where you end up at the end of the uh, 30 reps.